Um, uh oh. Um, for me, it's the it's the biggest thing in the world because I always like looked. I remember just the traffic getting to here when I was in high school and people doing Gotham Awards and me being like, oh, I hope one day I get to go there. Like, I just remember being in the taxi cab and not being able to get anywhere uh, that night where the Gotham Awards and I just thought, oh, well, maybe one day I'll be there. And to get to be there in a movie that was so small and so near and dear to me and Nick, that really was more representation of our love story as friends and 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 us dealing with our own losses, I think, is kind of the ideal situation. And it's kind of fun that it wasn't just like one of us getting nominated or something. It was the movie getting nominated and being recognized as a whole piece. So, you know, that would, that you know, it's nice. You've been in business for a long time. What kind of advice would you give? I'm not the sort of person that gives advice. I mean, if he asks me for my opinion on something, I'll give it to him. But for me, working with him was like jazz. We were ripping off of each other, so it was very spontaneous. But I'm so happy to be in this city. I made uh, Moonstruck here and Bringing Out the Dead here, and it could happen to you. And so it's a big deal to be invited to the Gotham Awards, just on the, the kind of historical aspect in my life of the relationship I've had. And also, I fell in love with my wife here. So this is a big deal to bring her to the Gotham Awards. It's date night. It's date night. It's, I'm already, I've already won. I'm so happy. It's date night with Rico. And, with and me? And Alex. Date night just with Rico. I thought it was a three-way well, date. I thought it was it, all we're, of us. We're, we're, it's all of our date night. And the holidays are just gone. And the holidays are here. It's a time to be merry and uh, eat, drink, and be happy. And that's what we're doing. I do. I do. I, I'm, I, I wouldn't say I'm like a chef, but I'm a pretty uh, solid cook. He's yeah. good. He's a very good cook. You, you, I, you did. You made that turkey with the guy. You made that thing at the end. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you made, made that, that. together. Yeah. But, yeah. I would like to show you some of my other greatest hits. I do a great seafood uh, arrabbiata, penny arrabbiata with seafood. It's my specialty. He makes some great chocolate peanut M and M's too. It's he's amazing at it. He's got like all these containers. That one down. Oscar's around the corner. Do you ever listen to that buzz in your ear? Well, the thing is, I think Gary Oldman said it brilliantly. He said the, the sound of applause is never to be ignored, and that. That's right. You got to be thankful for the enthusiasm, but the reality is this is a very little movie, and to think about it in those terms, there's just too many factors go into it. I don't have any expectations. I know that this movie communicated with the public in a really profound way, and that, and what we're in this for is to tell stories, and that happened. So, in my opinion, we did what we needed to do. What do you look for when you take on characters? You have some prolific characters. Well, this one is really about my experiences within and observations without and the folks that I've known in my life who've gone through something like that and kind of a love letter to them. And you got to work with the best. I mean, everyone I mean the greatest. I know. I, everyone should be. It was, I wish I could say it was, you know, I, I could play it down, but it was, it was, I said it was a perpendicular learning curve for me as an actor. It went, it went from a certain level of understanding to a whole other I felt like every project since then I've had an easier time because I always have Nick to bounce off of. Well, and, I'm a, I'm a and student, and I learn from everybody around me. And he taught me a lot. I asked him, what do you think of this move? What do you think of that? And I want his opinion. I mean, he's fantastic. I mean, we all know that. I will say it was nice. I don't usually care about these lists or anything like that. But I had a really great moment the other day where, you know, Variety put Nick and me and my mom all on a list of the maybe contenders for Oscars. And that was really nice. All the people I care about. My mom for Shiva Baby and Polly Draper. I hope she gets, you know, it was just a cool, nice moment for all of us to just be on the list. And I, I, I ran into Eleanor, my aunt, and I said, I mentioned your mom. And she said, oh, Polly, yeah. So it's a very small world. Everybody knows everybody in this little group. So it's very sweet. You guys have to get matching suits for the Oscars. Very sweet. If we're invited. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.